Speaking of jokes, uh, mark those calendars, friends, because American Dad returns for season yes. 17 this coming Monday. To tell us a little more about what we can <laughs> expect this morning, we are joined by Rachel McFarlane and Dee Bradley Baker, two of the stars of the show. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Gluten Morgan, hello. <laughs> uh, uh, that's so funny that you start with that because you play you play the uh, the voice of Klaus, the German Klaus. accented fish. Now I read D. Tell me if this is true that you are fluent in German. Yeah, I can speak German. I, I, it's a little rusty because I don't get a chance to use it much these mm -hmm. days. But yeah, I, I almost had a minor in German back in college because I, 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 I thought it was it was cool and fun. And uh, I'd still write. I'd write in a diary in German. I'd, I'd still read German. Yeah, I, I, I think German's a cool language. It's interesting. Right on. And little did you know you would play a, a fi goldfish with a German accent when you learned that. <laughs> Yeah, thank God I didn't study acting. I studied German. That's what got me my gig. It worked out. <laughs> Rachel, um, we are super excited with uh, season 17 getting underway, but you guys already know two more seasons are in your future. Yeah, it's really kind of crazy. It's, it's rare uh, for an actor to have a show that goes this long. I mean, I think... American Dad is one of the longest running sitcoms yeah. ever on television, which is just bananas because when the show started, you know, we always were thinking we were playing second fiddle to Family Guy and the show has found its voice and its mm -hmm. legs and, and here we are 17 seasons later and the writers are still cranking out awesome, fresh, funny, new content. And uh, I think, you know, both Dee and I are just feeling very privileged to be, uh, you know, on this ride for as long as we have been. So you mentioned, you know, the long We're the television equivalent of Broadway's Cats. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, I would say better. Uh, you mentioned you mentioned the longevity of the show. The show has, uh, in a hilarious way, political commentary. As we all know, politics have changed over the life of this show. How has that has that changed, forced you guys to change at all uh, the way you approach that? Or is it just business as usual? It's funny. I think that the show started, obviously, it was during the Bush administration and the, the um, George W. Bush administration. Mm -hmm. And it started very political. That was sort of the backbone of the show. Mm -hmm. But the core of the show was always sort of all in the family dynamic with mm -hmm. Stan and Haley. And I think it's that, that family dynamic that's really kept the show going. It isn't quite as political anymore. It's really more character driven, which mm -hmm. I, I think is part of the reason that it's, it's still on the air and people are still enjoying it. Because I think that that just constant, we're all getting politics, you know, uh, constantly, that it's a nice escape. It's a nice yeah. break, even though it has that undertone. I don't think it's as in your face as it was in the beginning. D, uh, the show cracks me up because it, it, I mean, it really pushes the envelope on stuff. Is there anything that you've ever been like, uh -huh. okay, this, this is a little, this might be too far. <laughs> I'm going to do it, but this might be too far. <laughs> yeah, well, often when we do a table read, which we all do together, um, they'll, there, there's, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of swearing, and sometimes there's stuff that's like, are, are you really going to actually be able to get away with this? <laughs> and sometimes they are actually able to get away with it. They, 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 it it's, it's, a, it's a constant battle. It's, it's a conversation it's a with conversation. standards and practices, as they, as they are called, <laughs> where they have, to, they have to clear certain, certain hurdles of acceptability for TBS. Uh, but then later, I think once it once it, it's released into the wild, like maybe on Hulu, because there's there's some episodes I've watched on Hulu when it it finally gets to stream from there. It's like wow, they went there. They're they're saying that, <laughs> and it's like it's I mean it's hilarious and I love it. But but, but it, it it the the show is much is much freer in 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 where it goes and and how it can throw around its mm -hmm. audacity uh, since uh, jumping over to TBS and and the the comedy has definitely benefited from that too it's sure. uh, it, it's a pretty outrageous show uh, but but it's still also basically a family sitcom in its structure <laughs> uh, so it's 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 a very unique show in that sense I think all right season 17 is 10 o'clock premieres Monday January 24th on TBS guys thank you so much best of luck and congratulations on the extended future of the show. Yes. Danke schön. Bitte. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen, mein Freund. <laughs> <laughs> He's great. Um, I, I wanted to tell him that I took German in high school, uh, but I, I you don't. You got scared? Yeah, because yeah. I, I 
it, like I knew I would freeze up on the spot with yeah. what to say. Yeah. All I could think of was, was hast du am Wochenende gemacht? Which means, what'd you do this weekend? <laughs> Which makes no sense in this scenario. Because it's only Thursday. Yeah. Give it a minute. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well,